All right, so welcome in. If you don't mind taking a quick look over our disclaimer, I'll just leave that up for a couple more seconds. Awesome, thanks guys. All right, let me get the music back for you. All right, there we go. Welcome in friends. Thank you so much for being here. I'm Katie and this is your deep stretch. We are here for 25 minutes together today and we're just gonna do a little bit of everything. So go ahead and clear some space. I do recommend you might want some kind of towel for today. It's not completely pertinent for your success of the class today, but you might want one of those on standby just to get a little bit deeper into some of our stretches a little bit later. But first things first, let's warm up your bodies, connect to our breath just a little bit. So find a nice tall standing position for me. And let's find that mountain pose. Feet underneath your hips, knees are soft. Arms are drawing down at your sides. Try to wiggle those toes. Stand up a little bit taller, relax all of the muscles in your face. Good, and just take a nice deep breath in through the nose. And out through the nose. Perfect, let's do that again. Deep breath in. Longer breath out. Good, and last time, deep breath in. Any tension you're holding on to, try to exhale it out here. Perfect, go ahead, flutter those eyes open, wiggle your fingers, shake out your knees. Let's just start nice and easy here by kind of swinging the arms. So take a look around, make sure you're not gonna hit anything. If you need to move anything or move yourself, <laughs> please do. Perfect, so just kind of like little pendulums here, swinging front and back. Good, and then take those arms across your body. Just kind of let them feel heavy, let them swing. You can alternate which arm is crossing in front. Don't think about it too, too much here. We're just kind of bringing some movement into the body. For three, two, and one. Good, rest your arms. Now shake out your legs, like literally just like shake, 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 shake them out, shake them out. Shake them up, both sides, both sides. Again, don't kick anything. Good, and then we're gonna do that same swing, but with your legs. So go ahead, find your balance on your left foot. Right side, nice and easy. We're just gonna swing it forward and back. Good, and we're standing up nice and tall. It doesn't have to be this fast. You can move and hold on to something, a wall or a chair if you'd like. Perfect, and then whenever you're ready, go ahead, switch to the other side. Find your balance first some awareness in the core, and just swing out that leg front and back. Perfect. Good, kind of feel that opening in your hip and those hamstrings as well. Beautiful. Good, and go ahead, release that. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Feet nice and wide. Go ahead, take a nice deep inhale. Reach those arms up and over. Exhale, reach for your toes. You don't have to touch your toes, especially not on this first one. We have no pressure. Hinge it forward. As soon as you get to that low point, relax your head. Good, now bend your knees, round your back, slowly roll it back up to standing. And we'll do that two more times. Stand up tall, roll the shoulders back. Inhale up. Exhale, reach for the floor. Good, so just hang out at your low point for one breath for me. Full breath in. Exhale, long breath out. Good, now inhale, bend your knees, round your back. Slowly come up. Remember, we always bring the head up last. One more time, inhale, reach it up. Exhale, reach for the floor. Good, hold it here. And let's start to bend through those knees a little bit more. So just bend the right knee for me here. Arms can just relax. Good, and then switch it, bend your left knee. Perfect, switch it back to the other side. So kind of like a little sway, a little rock side to side here because the feet are a little bit wider. Feeling that stretch moving through the hamstrings. Perfect. Hold it back in the middle for me and just exhale. See if you can drop your head forward a little bit more. Maybe release a little bit more through that low back. If you'd like, you can meet me in ragdoll. So grab onto opposite elbows, your biceps, 
please make sure you're breathing deeply and we're not forcing anything, especially not this early on. So if your body's telling you maybe you need to come up a little bit higher, listen to it. And you'll melt in a little bit deeper with time. Good, go ahead, gently shake your head no. Nod your head yes. Good, and relax your head. Let those arms fall toward the floor. Let's bend the knees, plant your hands on the floor. Let's step back into our high plank, but we're just gonna be here for a moment. Hands under your shoulders. Now go ahead, lower your knees all the way down to the floor. You might need to adjust a little bit to find your way to a tabletop. So hands under those shoulders, knees under those hips. If your wrists are giving you trouble, come on up to your knuckles. Good, and keep those wrists nice and straight. From here, let's inhale, drop the belly, lift your tailbone, look up to the ceiling. Good, now exhale, reverse it, round your back, tuck your chin, separate those shoulder blades. Good, and let's do that again. Inhale, arch the back, lift the tailbone, look up, cow. And cat, round your back, tuck your chin. Good, push those hands into the floor and let's do one more of each. Round the back, just kidding, arch the back. <laughs> Good, now round the back, tuck the chin, good. Nice, good job team. All right, flatten out that back, nice neutral spine. One of my new favorite things. Hands are about shoulder width apart, knees are gonna stay where they are. And we're just gonna draw a nice big circle here. So we're gonna shift the weight forward toward the right corner of the mat. Good, now sweep it over toward the left and shift your booty back toward the back left of the mat. Back right. Good, and all the way back around, making it a nice fluid circle. So you're gonna feel your arms, your shoulders, your biceps, your wrists, your forearms heat up as you shift forward. And then every little bit of your hips <laughs> on the way back. It's also gonna loosen up your spine a little bit. Good. Okay, reverse your circle, so take it the other way. So I'm trying to figure this out in my head if I reversed it, what I told you guys. So I think before you're going counterclockwise, now we're going clockwise. Good, give me one more nice big circle. Perfect, meet me back in the middle. Bring your big toes together, send your knees out wide. On an exhale, sit back into your child's pose. So hips back toward the heels, arms reaching forward, palms pressing down into the floor. Good, forehead resting on the floor. And let's just breathe here for a few breaths. Perfect, fill up those lungs. Think of filling up the back of your rib cage as you breathe. Good, and crawl those hands forward just a touch more. Perfect, and while we're here, let's thread the needle. So let's take the right hand, sweep it underneath the left bicep, and try to draw that right shoulder and ear down toward the floor. We're looking at that right hand. Perfect. Good, holding here, pressing that shoulder down away from your ear. Very nice, let's go ahead, bring it back to the center. And I'll do the same thing with the left arm. So sweep the left arm under the right bicep. We're reaching out through every fingertip, the left side of our head toward the floor. Good, pressing that shoulder down away from the ear. Good, breathing into those arms, into that little twist. Perfect, and let's release that. Meet me back in the middle. See if you can sink back a little bit more or reach forward a little bit more or both. Perfect, deep breath in. As you breathe out, draw those hands back underneath the shoulders. Exhale, press yourself back up, tabletop. And we're just coming through that tabletop to head to our downward dog. So go ahead, curl your toes under. 
Send your hips up and back toward the ceiling. And let's pedal out those calf muscles. You always forget about your calf muscles until you're in a downward dog. <laughs> you're trying to get those heels closer to the floor. Good, so walk this out. Get your ears next to your biceps. Perfect, let's press both heels down. And from here, go ahead, step your right foot forward, nice and far into that low lunge. So remember, knee and ankle are in a straight line. The front heel is planted down. We've got that back heel popped up. Good, and let's come on up into our high lunge. So we're gonna lift the chest, reach the arms up, drop the shoulders down. Tuck the hips forward, keep an eye on that right knee. It's tracking toward the middle of the foot, but you knew that already. Good, stay right here. <clears throat> and if you want a little bit more here, twist with me. We're going to inhale and then exhale, reach your right arm toward the back of the room. Reach your left arm forward for a nice big twist. You can sink a little bit deeper into the hips if you're ready for it. Good, and then gently unwind. Perfect, and hands are gonna come back down to the floor. On either side of that foot, go ahead, wiggle your back foot back a little bit more for me. And then gently just rock forward and back. It's a very small rock. <laughs> Sound like the worst dad joke in my mind. I was like, it's like a pebble. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do apologize. I wasn't gonna say it, but I'm kind of glad I did. <laughs> Good, so we're just pressing through the ball of the foot and then through the heel, lengthening out that hip flexor. Good, now press into your heel, hold it. Perfect, let's inhale. And exhale, step that right foot back to meet the left, shake out that down dog. Like a small rock, you get it though, right? I'm sorry. <laughs> Press those heels down. On an exhale, step that left foot forward. Big step through, plant the heel. Keep the ball of the back foot down, the heel up. And let's come on up into that high lunge. Good, trying to find that nice 90 degree angle in the front knee. Drop the shoulder blades down your back. We're tucking the hips forward. Feel that nice stretch in your hip flexors. Good. Gazing forward or slightly up. Inhale. And let's exhale, go ahead, add that twist. So you're twisting toward the front leg, left arm back, right arm forward. The knee is not twisting with us though. Perfect, stand up tall, nice. Breathe, 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 breathe. Good, inhale back up to the center. Exhale, hands down toward the floor. Good, do your best. Send that back foot back a little bit more and then gently shift that weight forward and back. I won't say it again. <laughs> Good, looking down at the floor, protecting your neck. So always trying to make sure that neck is an extension of your spine. Breathing into those hips. Good, and drive that heel back, sinking in. Take a nice deep inhale. And exhale, let's step it back to that down dog. Great job. Good, go ahead, press both heels down. From here, shift your weight forward. So shoulders right on top of those hands into your high plank. You can lower the knees down here if you'd like. And then we're gonna lower the chest down all the way to the floor, hugging the elbows in, untuck those toes. Good, and then press into the hands, find your cobra or baby cobra. So if this is hard on your arms or your back, you're just gonna bend those elbows as much as you need to. You can also come all the way down onto the forearms. Good, pressing up and out of those shoulders, lifting the chin, the chest, and breathing. Perfect, and gently lower that all the way back down. Let's try that again. Exhale, peeling the chest up away from the floor. Very nice. 
Good, and carefully lower it down, just because we haven't done this one in a few weeks, and it's one of my favorites. Let's open up your chest and the front of that shoulder. Let's extend the left arm out first. Right hand stays underneath the shoulder, maybe a little bit wider than the shoulder. Good, and then go ahead, press into that right hand as you rotate the left shoulder down toward the floor. Good, so right away you'll feel that stretch in your bicep, the front of that shoulder. And if you want a little bit more here, you'll bend the right knee, let it fall up and over that left leg for a nice big twist. Good, so here you're looking at your right hand to protect your neck. Good, pressing both palms down into the floor. And exhale, carefully release, very nice. So I'll face you guys for the second side. Okay, so this time, Go ahead, extend your right arm out. Left hand just outside the shoulder, big bend in that elbow. Go ahead, press into that left hand, rotate the right shoulder down. Wow, this side is so much tighter than the other one. Breathe into it. Good, stretching that right arm out to your side. Then if you want more, go ahead, bend that left knee. Let it float up and over that leg. Looking at the left hand here. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the face, breathing into that twist if you're there. Good, and exhale, carefully release. Hands underneath the shoulder one more time, big exhale, press up into that cobra or baby cobra. Perfect, breathe. Good, and carefully send those hips back toward your heels. From here, drop it over to one side huh, and swing those legs around in front of you. Up on those sits bones, sitting up nice and tall. Let's take a nice deep inhale, reach out. Good, and toward those toes, exhale, forward fold. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Remember here, we are reaching down and forward. So it's not just down. Try to lengthen through the top of your head, lengthen through your spine. Perfect, carefully roll it up. Now, if you grabbed one, we're gonna try that again using your towel. So you can also use a yoga strap or a belt if you have one. Um, if you didn't grab anything, don't worry about it. We're just gonna do the same stretch again and we'll get into it a little bit deeper. So this time we'll inhale, reach up, grab onto that towel or whatever you are using. And then as you exhale, see if you can get that towel or your yoga strap right underneath the soles of your feet. So here we're forced to lengthen through that spine a little bit more and you're gonna feel that stretch deeper into your low back and hamstrings. So from the side, this was me the first time, big round like turtle shell on my back. Second time, force that length, feel that stretch even more. I actually feel the stretch a ton in my calf muscles here too since we're pulling and flexing those feet. Good, exhale, sink in half an inch deeper. Good, every exhale. So try to melt in, sink in a little bit more. Neck in line with the spine. Let's stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Carefully roll it up. Again, you can use a towel or not. We've done this one before without a towel. So again, a sweater, a scarf, anything will work for this, a belt, anything of that shape. <laughs> We're gonna take the right arm, reach it up, sitting up tall, so don't compromise your posture. Bend that right elbow, the hand is gonna come toward the middle of your back. Good, so then if you'd like to use that towel, you're gonna reach the left arm down and back behind you, so sweep it back behind your back. And then we're just gonna inch those hands closer and closer together using that towel. Keep the chin up. Good, keep the spine long. So here, if you're not using a towel, reminder, you're just reaching those hands closer and closer together. Good, and you're breathing, of course. Good, really, really good for your spinal mobility. Shoulder mobility, posture. Good, carefully release that and let's take the other side. So left arm rises, 
Take that towel on your left hand, a little easier that way. Left hand. Bend your elbow. Right hand sweeps behind. Reach for the other hand. Keep that chin up. Shoulder pulled back and just keep inching those hands together closer and closer. Perfect. And just breathe. Breathe into it. I know it's uncomfortable. I know one side is way easier than the other side. <laughs> That's why we work on it. Try to even them out. Quick check in. How you doing? Try to relax a little bit more. Breathe a little deeper. Pull those hands a little bit closer. Perfect. And let's carefully release. Set that towel to your side. Go ahead, kick your legs out wide for me. Make sure you're not gonna kick anything. Sit up nice and tall, toes and knees are straight up. And from here, we're just gonna walk it forward. So as far forward as you can go comfortably while keeping the knees and toes straight up. So as we reach forward, the hips are gonna try and come with you. That's gonna keep the muscles short. <laughs> so we wanna keep the knees straight up and the hips open to lengthen out those inner thighs. Good, again, same thing here. Every exhale, we're hinging forward just a touch more. We're trying to relax into that stretch. We are not forcing anything. Only thing I care about is that you feel the stretch. If you are a pancake on the floor right now, that's awesome. But also, if you're up here and you're not hinging forward at all and you feel the stretch, perfect. We're all doing the same thing. <laughs> we are all stretching. Good, on your next exhale, everyone carefully release. We're gonna bend those knees, bring those feet back together. Ah. All right, feet planted on the floor. Go ahead, round your back, and let's roll all the way down onto your back. Hugging those knees into the chest when you get there. You can take a little rock side to side if you'd like. Perfect. Good, and lower those feet down to the floor. One more thing with the towel, if you want it, you do not have to have it. We're gonna bend that right knee into the chest. You can hug right at your calf muscle with your hands, or if you have that towel, go ahead, wrap that towel underneath the arch of your foot and send that right leg straight up to the ceiling. Good, so head, neck, and shoulders are staying relaxed on the floor. If you want more, extend that left leg straight out. And then from here, you can just keep holding onto that leg, but we're gonna carry it toward the left side of the room so that stretch is moving to the outside of the leg. If you'd like, the right arm can reach out to the floor to balance you. Perfect, gently carry that back to the center. You can switch your grip, and then we're gonna open up that leg toward the right side of the room. Good, left arm can reach out to stabilize. Try to keep the left hip on the floor. Very nice, and gently bring it back to the center right leg. Perfect, carefully lower that down, bend the knee, and then we'll switch it out. So hug the left knee in. You can take that towel underneath the sole of your foot and then go ahead, send it up, or you can just hug right above or below that knee. Opposite leg can extend out if you want it. Good, again, we're not forcing, we're just working on straightening out that leg, pulling the knee toward the chest, not the chest toward the knee. Good, and then let's shake it up a little bit. Go ahead, carry the head leg over toward the right side of the room, moving that stretch to the outside of that left leg. Perfect, come on back to the center. Switch your grip and open up that hip, carrying the left leg toward the left side of the room. Beautiful, and back to the center. Nice job, friends. Go ahead, get rid of that towel. Bend the knee, hug it into your chest. Perfect, hug both knees into your chest for me. From here, last stretch. We're gonna cross the right leg over the left leg. So you have your right hamstring is on top of your left thigh. I want you to hug those knees in. You might already feel a stretch in that right glute, and that's perfect. If you want more, you're gonna reach for your ankles. Good, try to pull them in toward your armpits and make a straight line <laughs> from ankle to ankle. So sometimes that line, it might look more like a W or like an M, but do your best, line it up. We'll take a deep inhale. Exhale, release, and let's switch that. So crossing left over right. 
Good, so again, it's like thigh to thigh here, if not figure four. And then we'll hug the knees in. If you want, you can reach for the ankles, try to find that straightish line. Good, pulling those heels towards your armpits for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead, release that. Uncross your legs, give me a little windshield wiper, shake it out. Good, and then you can let those knees fall all, all the way over to one side. Press yourself up to a seated position. When you get there, give me a quick little stretch for your neck side to side. Perfect. Good, and go ahead, sit up nice and tall for me. Relax those shoulders down. We'll take one more deep breath in and up together. And exhale those hands down to your heart center. And you guys are done. Thank you so much for stretching with me today. You are all wonderful. If you have questions or anything, please, please feel free to let me know. And I will see you next time.